fuck you, Dad. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Fuck You, Dad. Kenyon is not here again this week. And uh, if you want to hear why, the ridiculous, disgusting reason why, I would suggest that you listen to our latest episode that was released on our Patreon. So go ahead and go to www.patreon.com slash F-U dad and sign up and listen to me yell at one of my friends. Um, or DM me because I have a lot to say about Kenyon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Evan Hull, our guest today. Because he's not here, so he can't defend himself. No, no, he can't. Well, he, can't, he couldn't defend himself himself even if he was here he 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 defends by offense he's an offensive fella i do realize i chimed in before i was introduced that's okay he's here he's he's he well when is your show at the lincoln lodge uh first and third sundays at 7 30 first and third sunday sundays at 7 30 here at the lincoln lodge come through I, I like to do the plugs at the beginning cool yeah because people stop listening once they start to hear my stories maybe <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Evan, we ran into each other. When was it? It was years ago in this fine city doing comedy, but I don't recall. I don't think I remember where you started comedy. I actually, yeah, I don't recall meeting you. I only recall being friends with you. Does that make sense? That does make sense. I don't, re- I don't remember the yeah. exact point either. I know you did my outdoor show during the pandemic. Oh, that was And so that was fun. very fun. Yeah. Uh, to have you on that. And I think after that, we've always been friends. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I obviously love you a lot more than you love me. Um, I don't I don't believe so. I think it's the other way around, but that's okay. okay. Well, we can, we can. I had a really nice time at the comedy bar that 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 once when uh, me and you were having a full conversation next to your girlfriend, and then you didn't introduce us at all, and we had to do right. that that yes. thing. So the, don't. Why would you throw me under the bus like that? The, the, the thing where two strangers have to go like, oh yeah, but our mutual acquaintance so, has dropped the ball, and now we have to do this. Where I go, my, my name's Nick. Abby and I have had a lot of conversations about this because she's around com- comedy a lot, and mm-hmm. she's around comedians a lot, and she's around all my friends a lot, and uh, I. For a while, I was introducing her to everyone because that's what you do yeah. as a normal, respectful human. And then, uh, but then I would ninety percent of the time they'd be like, "Evan, I know Abby. I know your girlfriend. We've met a thousand times." And that's We're, that's that's kind of double embarrassing, right? And so I have just told her straight up, "I'm like, I'm not gonna introduce you to be like, you, if you don't know them, we can we can figure that out." But I'm not. I don't. I don't want to do the same. I was like, I don't know who you know and who you don't know. And yeah. You see so many people. Yeah. Um, so where did where did you start comedy? That's what I started comedy in college when I was in Iowa City, Iowa. That's fucking right. You're a you're a corn boy. But I'm from Colorado. Okay. But I went to school in Iowa. I started comedy in Iowa. But I was doing it like that doesn't change the corn. No, I I mean it's still corny over there. Yeah, That's it's, corn everywhere. I'm a I'm a big Midwestern fella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Despite not being from the Midwest, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but both my parents are Midwestern, so I got the I got the um, the staunch corn fed genes in me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I started in college in Iowa City, Iowa. I wasn't. Uh, I was doing like, I, you know, I was doing comedy like once a month there because there wasn't a lot of, op- like even if you if you had a car, you could maybe get up like two to three times in a week. Okay. But I was also a student and an athlete in college, and so Naturally. I was like not doing comedy that much. But I was running a show, and so I'd basically just do it like once a month, for two years, and then I didn't start doing it like quote full time until I moved to Chicago. Okay. What did you play in college? Was I was a sport? diver. I played diving. Oh my god. So doing all the flips and stuff? Yes. Flipsy tricksies. Yeah, it wasn't scuba diving in Iowa, no. So, okay, this is something that I I with those kind of sports, like what was the first time that you 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 did something where you're like I don't this is scary and I don't want to do it. Like what that Oh, that, the whole time I hated it. Okay. I was you hated the miserable. whole thing. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't know. I didn't do any like my. So my, <laughs> and we'll obviously get into this. But my dad was, uh, um, like a national champion gymnast in college, and then wow. my brother was a national champion diver, and we were like we were growing up uh, just super into tight clothes. Oh yes, just, just we were it. the most homoerotic family. <laughs> Full of was, straight were men. Were you a wrestler too? You no, ever, I'm built like a wrestler. Yeah, they would, I, they would have named a move after me. That's <laughs> what you should have done. Yeah, it was, that all the spandex was leading to that. Yes. Uh, no, but I, I, we like so we grew up in gymnastics. So I have these shoulders that that just are, you know I'm I've got a wide back. If yeah. Everyone says. Yeah. Uh, so I I did that and then I switched over to diving full time when I was like in high school because I got hurt and I liked it more. I was better at it. 
Um, and then I like went to college for it because, like I said, that was like what my family did. You know what I mean? Like I didn't really have another identity. Okay. And so I was like in college for it, training all the time, miserable, not very good because I didn't want to work very hard to get better. But I was at this like Big Ten school in this top program that I somehow happened into a spot on. And I was the worst of, I say I was like the worst of the best because I would like go to Big Tens competing against like the Big Ten champions and like Olympians and I would take last every single time. Yeah, that's got to feel really good. That's got to feel really cool. I, I, <laughs> and uh, when you do it That's naked like you play in front of a crowd, too, it uh, it hurts. And it gives you a lot of weird <laughs> to, see, to have your dick so exposed and to look up at the scoreboard yes, and be you like, just see your name last. in last. And yeah, not yeah. even last by a little. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it was just miserable. And I was unhappy. Give it up to Evan Hull, the fellow who shouldn't be here. Yes, the one who uh, he thought this was the theater club. <laughs> you do look really – you you're such a thick – I'm a God. very dense guy. I feel like you diving would look like somebody... You know when you, like, throw a sponge into a sink? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm deciding whether I'm hurt by this or not. I need a minute to process like a, whether a, this hurts A sponge me. that's all soaked up. You yes. know what I'm saying? Well, I... And to be like, honest with like you... Like, I feel like you'd whap. To like be honest really with you, uh, I was good enough... Because once you get to that level, it's good enough that I wasn't, like... Well, I was I was eating shit a lot. But you'd I, look like a giant... Like, like a... You know when you're pooping, like, nuggets? And you get this is getting them. worse. This is getting really way more hurtful. <laughs> okay, you're right. I'm sorry. No, Go but ahead. you're Go you're ahead. almost correct. Uh, yeah. But I was just really powerful. Like I'm just a strong guy. You know what I mean? So I uh-huh. could, like. I mean, so for the for the That's listeners, lit. I'm not big. I'm powerful. I'm <laughs> seven foot six, four hundred pounds of sheer muscle for the listeners. Um, just so you guys know. Uh, I was uh, just a power, but that's what, like I should have been a wrestler. I have wrestler body. I have a very Absolutely. Like, I, slow f- but powerful uh, demeanor in my body. I I, um, w- I had a huge. I went to a, like a huge high school, like thousands of kids. So all of our our sports were all like the kids who played in that sport were always like uh, you know pretty high up there. So our wrestling team were just like oompa loompas. Yeah. They're just like boom, yes. huge guys like pit bulls, and they love. I tell you what, wrestlers love. They love chewing tobacco. I was literally about to say chewing tobacco, chewing tobacco, and um, being dicks in public. <laughs> the wrestlers, I so Iowa was a huge wrestling school, uh-huh. right? We're like uh, big time wrestlers. Uh, the wrestlers and the baseball players were my two least favorite teams because I only hung. I only for the first. You know, two years, I was only around athletes all the yeah. time. Yeah. High school uh, baseball players look sick. You look sickly. I don't know why. They were all like... They and then they low. get to college and they start uh, committing assaults. Yeah. 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 Tell you that much. Well, part of, part of their uh, part of their whole thing is a, a baseball bat and is a weapon. Yes. It's a weapon guy. And I... Um, Swinging that around. We do have, get, a, we do have a good comedian grandiose. friend who's a, a college baseball player, and I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I know you're not talking about me. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about, about DJ Ribsky, and he is not. He was a college baseball player. Oh, that doesn't surprise me either. Shout out DJ. I'm not. I'm here. Great. He's the only Asian <laughs> DJ with short hair. I don't get that reference. Uh, you know, like music <laughs> DJ. Oh, okay, sure. That's what I was. Were you talking for? about like Andrew WK? Is that the <laughs> only DJ you can think I'm of? I'm trying that's to Asian? think. No, no, no. Calvin Harris is not Asian. No, I know. Who's the other guy? The, 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 he, yeah, he does have long hair. Steve Aoki. Oh. Check motherfucking mate, motherfucker. All right, you win this. Yeah. It was a good joke. It was. It was fun. <laughs> that feels good to stamp. <laughs> Even though you didn't laugh, I still felt, I felt Well, I didn't it. laugh not because I, I just didn't get it. Do you know I, why I said it, though? Why'd you say That it? was a thing that I've always wanted to say, like, because I, if I hosted a show he's been on a couple times or whatever, or vice versa, I was like, that's not a bad thing, but I always chicken out on You've got stage. a pocketed line for him? Yeah. Mine is... Uh, I whipped he, it out on the pod. Mine is, he was one of the good college baseball players. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask him about chew. I wonder if he. I wonder if. He oh did. yeah, they chewed hard. They all did. Yeah. One time we were in the dorms uh, in the RA. We were drinking with one of the baseball players, and we had an open window in the back of the door. It was a pitcher, and the RAs came knocking at the door. And this kid grabbed two bottles of Burnett's and was just like about to launch them at the window. And we both were like, "No!" And then he just one, two, straight through the window. Perfect shot. The window was like cracked like seven inches. Oh, he just threw up because he was a pitcher. He yeah, just had yeah, perfect yeah. aim. Crossed the room. Threw, and I was like, I've never been more. We didn't get in trouble. RAs came in. There was no alcohol in the room. 
Well, the, except the well, yeah. <laughs> and then they go outside and they're like, "Oh, there's, there's like, two there's bottles two of broken smash. bottles of Burnett." <laughs> the whole sidewalk smells like a bar. Yeah, right it now. was grass below us. We we're on the first floor. And it was oh, grass it was like behind oh, okay. the building, so okay, it was totally good. fine. But it was cool. Where'd you go to college? Oh, in Iowa, University of Iowa, University of Iowa, not Iowa mm-hmm. State. I had no. some Iowa State buddies. Uh, you don't like them. So growing up in Colorado, okay, here's a fun game I wanted to play mm-hmm. with you. Can I guess what kind of what kind of elementary school kid you were? Then you you guess me. And then we do each other, and then we'll we'll come and it'll be good. Sure. Elementary. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking like child. I'm gonna because I think I know what kind of kid you were. Okay, let's see it. Because I can tell by the whole thing. Okay. So this is okay. In kindergarten, you 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 smelled a little bit like maple syrup. You you held a crayon like this. You were a fist guy. You were fist only. You kind of did big swirls, and you weren't a bully on the playground. Okay. You would just run fast and knock kids over, but not know that you were doing it. Okay. If you knew you knocked someone over, you would apologize, but mm-hmm. you didn't know that you knocked them over because you were going too crazy and you were running too fast. Mm-hmm. You got big legs. Mm-hmm. And you're a screamer. You're a big, wah! Mm-hmm. You're a big, mm-hmm. that kind of kid. Mm-hmm. All wrong. 100% wrong. Nothing? I don't think anything Not even the crayon respect. grip? No, especially not the crayon I grip. I was all in on the crayon I grip. I get annoyed when people fist things. <laughs> yeah. Cut, yeah, keep that sound bite. Yeah. <laughs> Use that one for a promo. You get annoyed by that? <laughs> yeah, it may, like when people hold spoons like this. Oh, no, it's disgusting. It's, yeah. it's savagery. And I, I, I have always felt that way, even from a young age. I it just told, didn't make I any totally sense to me. You um, that. Didn't smell, I don't know why I smelled like maple syrup. <sighs> I think not, I, I just feel like you're, you're not stocky. Fat Canadian. <laughs> It's kind of. <laughs> I, I, I think it's your build. You look like you eat a fla- like a stack of flapjacks every morning. No, no. Um, and I also, as far as I'm, I've always been so hyper conscious of my body and my smells. We're gonna talk about your body this whole this Dude, whole episode. We can, I can make a whole episode out of it. I can make a couple. Um, it's a big body. I, look, I told you, dude. I'm built. It's a like, wild I'm body. built like a Christmas ham, but a Christmas ham that is like showered and shaved. Well, not shaved, but you know, showered yeah. and clean and yeah, smells yeah, yeah, yeah. nice. Yeah. I don't even from a young age. I've always been Maybe very. That's where conscious. the maple syrup came from. Was the ham comment? I just Probably feel like from the ham you're comment. St- <laughs> you're yes. sticky. That's All right, you do me. You do me. What kind of kid was uh, that? I think you were quiet. Okay. I think you were quiet, but people liked you. I don't think you were a loser, but uh-huh. you weren't cool necessarily. No. Uh, but I don't think you were a loser. I think you were just quiet, back of the class, hands in the pockets kind of guy. To an extent, yeah. There was and a I bet weird you, I bet you played the sports on the playground, but just you were uh, unremarkable. <laughs> now that now now you now you're now you're getting hurtful. This well, hurtful. I didn't mean you weren't. Bad. I know, but I you, just, you're you weren't so the correct. star, dude. You were so correct, and I was so un, like yeah. Well, way like off I said, I mark. love you more than you love me. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did play. I did play sports on the playground. and I was very unremarkable, but but cared a lot about it. Okay. This is a great. Can I can I tell a story? Yeah. About some playground stuff, and then we're yeah, gonna get your into podcast. your dad. Yeah, you do it. I'm just the guest. It's your it's your podcast. Because I've been wanting ahead, to tell this for you go a while. Ahead and tell a story on your podcast. I got my heart broken on the playground. Yeah. In fifth grade, dude, during a four square game. That's hurtful. You know the rules of four square? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. I Unfortunately, was, I know that the rules set you up for some real heartbreak. <laughs> Dude, it was the power dynamics and the emotion. So I'm in I'm in square four, okay? This girl I have a crush on, she's in square one. I she's so she's making up all the rules, right? And then she I can't remember the specifics, but she made up a rule and she did something wrong. Was this your crush already, pre existing? Oh, this has been Oh, I had, st- I had strength. No, 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 no. She was the fourth grade hottie. Only me, only me. No, no, no. I wasn't that guy. I wasn't like, oh, I, I, I like the girl that everybody likes. No, I no. liked this chick. Oh, Nobody cool. else liked That's her. That's cool. She kind of had your body. She was, th- she was yeah. like a farm. You like, kinda, you like yeah. a farm girl. <laughs> You like an, a woman built like an animal? <laughs> I think it's because they think a farm girl would think that I'm badass, you know? Yeah. I would think that she might. She kind of looked at my Razor scooter. I was like, this guy does like, tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just got a switchblade. I, I, I couldn't bar spin, yeah. but I could I could, I could, could get up there. I could get some. Yeah, air. a little bunny hop. Yeah, a little bunny hop. I could tail whip. I could tail whip, too. And I could wheelie. Right. I had a wheelie bar. Anyway, so what happens? Don't get me the- fucking started on my scooter <laughs> shit, bro. So she's making up rules. She says something. I don't know. Something went wrong, and I went, no, no, that isn't right. Like, you're out. And she kind of gave me a look or whatever, mm. and she sat back out, and I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. We like each other. Never We're teasing. Never disrespect your queen, Nick. Yeah. I th- well, I come to learn this. 
So I come all the way up, right? I go from four, I go to three, to two, to one. Now I'm in the one spot. She's in the four spot now. And we're and we're tossing the ball right. around. And I just, I, I think I'm playing around, you know what I mean? So I mm-hmm. smack the ball in her square and it goes out. So she gets kicked out. And I was like, ah, you're out again. And she was like, I'm never going to love you. <laughs> and I was like, what? Whoa. And she was like, I know you like me, and it's never gonna happen. In front of everyone? <sighs> yeah. At the four square thing. What a bitch. And I was I was like Holy uh, shit, dude. Uh, uh, I I had to you know when uh oh I, I feel God. like this is the thing like when when people get caught in like serious crimes, like see this is why I love true crime, is because you see people like have to really be on their feet because I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, I know you like me. Mackenzie told me, and then I looked at Mackenzie and she's like, ah! She's like laughing, yeah. like running away, and then I can feel my face and oh, and I'm she starting and to get Mackenzie. that. I'm killing both of them. Oh, my <laughs> dick shriveled into my body, up into my stomach, into my mouth. Holy I could feel my dick in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. First time. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to recreate actually, it ever since then. That makes me uh, really feel bad for you. Do, yeah, do no, we, it was. Do you still it was keep up tough. with this girl? Absolutely. Okay, there's a there was a whole thing. So I don't mean to unpack your trauma here. No, it's not trauma, dude. It's fucking hilarious because it's fifth graders and it's a microcosm of of my whole life. And it's why I don't trust women 100 percent. But it's not trauma, you know? Sure. So sound fine. (laughs) (laughs) That checks out. (laughs) This is what happens. So that happens right in like the it wasn't the end of the school year, but it was kind of close. So then the end of the school year. Uh, Mackenzie, who I'm a crossing guard with, that's my crush's best friend, right? It's the last day of fifth grade. They're letting kids be the crossing guards? Yeah. In the streets? I mean, it's, it's not a, it's not a freeway. It's also a suburb of Minneapolis. It's, it's like, you know what I mean? It, it, okay. I, it, I don't. I had a big right. old flag. Child labor laws. <laughs> I got paid in a trip to Camp Snoopy at the end of the year. The so. fuck is Camp Snoopy? It's the amusement. Is that where you were molested? Because <laughs> that's where you get not me, molested. but a lot of them. I'm right, sure. That's where. Well, it's an amusement park in the middle of a giant shopping mall, the Mall of America. The Mall of America. Yeah, that's Camp Snoopy. Yeah, it was Camp Snoopy. Now it's Nickelodeon Universe. Rip. That rules. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. <laughs> Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Corporate America's fucking awesome, and I love to see That's it true. change I'm a, things. I'm a capitalist. Yeah. I'm a staunch Go capitalist. Nickelodeon everything, baby. Yes. Uh, it's called Nickelodeon Universe. Everything's a universe now. Right, because we got to think outside the box. And everything is a fucking universe. Anyway, I got to finish this. I got to finish. I shouldn't have had edibles. Yeah, we're like, where we're at, what, minute 20 now? I don't know. We're coming up to it. Uh <laughs> So this no, this is the last day of school of fifth grade, right? Like last day we're at elementary school before middle school. Kids think it's a big deal, even though you know now that it's obviously not. But you think it's a big deal. So I am at the buses, right? And I'm doing my crossing guard duty. I'm sitting there with my flag. And then Mackenzie comes up with my crush. And I'm like, what, what's going on here? And then Mackenzie like shoves her towards me and she's like, do it. And then this girl like gave me a hug. But I, I, I didn't hug back because I was stu- I was like, if I don't move, yeah, and you're in the middle of the happening. street, you're the most oh, vulnerable you can now, be. Now this isn't all around the four square people. This is the entire school, like all no. grades. All grades are waiting for the bus, and she does this like watching Nick get sloppy in the street. It was literally like the. Now, this is going to sound bad, but it was child prostitution. Gross. Mackenzie was like, I'm going to give you whatever. That doesn't sound bad at all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you money, and you're going to hug Nick, which in, in elementary school is like a huge deal. And then I, I I was like probably shaking, about to vomit. And then she like stopped, and she like ran to her bus. But it felt so gross because I was like, this isn't – that didn't feel good. That no, feels bad. But I will say Mackenzie – Good job. Holding your friends accountable. Yeah, I don't think she did it right. I think she did a bad job, and I think she could have handled it a lot more gently. Yeah. More gently. She could have let me down. But she uh, she could have let you down, but she it was nice of her to hold her friend accountable and be like, say you're fucking sorry. Oh, she didn't say I'm sorry. It was – no words were exchanged. But that was a sorry. I th- but she then continued to not talk to me for the rest of – I she mean, ever. She, she shouldn't. The but business it was nice is closed? McKenzie, yeah, the business is closed, but it was nice of Mackenzie to be like, that was mean. Now go make things worse in the middle of the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure he never, yeah. ever forgets yes. it. Yeah. 
And then later in middle school, my friends played a prank on me, which they were pretty in ingenious in this because this is before social media. They created a fake email address and then uh, under my, like my crush's name and stuff and send me emails like, ah, oh, like, let's start talking again. I love you. And then it, it was it, – it, I called them like, you guys are not going to believe it. My life is, is turned around. And then they're like, it's us. And I think that that ruined me as a person. You remember the game that you wanted to play where it ended in you having to tell us all of your childhood trauma? Do you remember that? And when you were like, let's play a game, and then I nailed it, and you were like, fuck you, and started talking about these girls that hurt you. <laughs> Shut up. I was cool. It's been a roller coaster of an episode. It has. It's been fun so far. So you didn't have any fun elementary school experiences like that? I was a pussy, dude. I was a – well, I, I had stuff like that. I was cool kind of in elementary school. But I just – I've always – I always wanted to be cool, like, all the way up until probably mid-college. That's how you're I, not cool, though. That's how you get to be pretty not cool. exactly right. And I think that a lot of it, – it clearly read. You know what I mean? That everyone was like, he's trying. We like him. And if he'd try a little bit less hard, we'd like him a lot more. Do you have those shirts with the big American Eagle on it? Oh, no. I don't mean, like, I wasn't um, – Because I tried that. I mean, like, I really, really wanted to be one of the cool kids, and I think I was probably a bully sometimes to people because I thought that was the cool thing to oh, do. Oh, well, yeah. Who did, yeah and who I do didn't realize until, like, probably I was, like, 19 that the only way to be cool was to just be normal. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I overstepped a lot. And so I, that probably came to fruition, like, fourth grade was when I started really wanting to be cool. Yeah. Uh, and so I don't have a lot of cool experiences because I wasn't really included. You were in way stuff. too. You were way too focused on the game. Way too focused on the game. I've always been way too focused on the game, and it has <laughs> always been a hindrance to me because you overthink stuff, and then you're not just fun. Um, no, you're you're over there strategizing. Like, well, well if here's I play what I'm gonna ball, say. Yeah. Jason isn't gonna see me. Jason only sees me if I'm on the yes. monkey bars. And I gotta be good yes. on the monkey and bars. And that is still true to this day. I still do that, and I have to actively be like Evan. You're being an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. like, just be like, just do the thing. Like, it's it's still that way. So, what was your? Uh, I'll start with this. I'll start with this. Has your dad seen you do stand up? He has. Okay. Does he? He love actually it? he, he big, loves it. He's a big support guy. He's so funny. Uh, my parents are funny. They're so my. They're he's both a bra dad. He really supports you. Hold you up tight. <laughs> he is a bra dad. He's a more of a jock strap kind of dad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. He. Uh, <laughs> so my parents are fun because my no so, ass. No ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so my dad's a, a lawyer, like a, uh, an insurance lawyer. Oh, you're coming out as rich on the podcast. That's oh, fun. Yeah. No, we definitely. Evan Hull's coming out as rich. Yeah. Well, you know, a big day maybe we you. should take a minute before we demonize <laughs> my family. Maybe I should talk about them a little bit before we just be like, he's rich. Because <laughs> no. they're pretty no, good people. It's a big people. day for you. You're coming out. It's, it's I've nice. always said that. I know that. Um, <laughs> But there's my dad. I can tell by the way you're sitting. Now I know why the the hand thing that you're like. I hate people who hold things like this. It's all coming together. Yeah, because they're poor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just starting yeah, going on a tirade and be like, people who hold things weird are clearly poor. <laughs> you know why? Because they didn't have school to teach them. Yeah. Um, no, my dad was a lawyer. My mom's a writer, so she's an artist. And my dad is the one who gets like he'll get like two drinks in him and get real sentimental and be like, "You're gonna make it, son." And then my mom's like. You should get it. Maybe yeah, go to law yeah, school. Yeah, that's funny. Because like, she knows how hard it is yeah. to be an artist. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he's very supportive. And actually, he came to one of my shows like in college when I first started doing it. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, he was, very, and he's always been very supportive. He's a, he's a cool guy. Um, he's, but yeah. Is that he was, a funny guy? He's goofy. He's dad funny. Okay. And he's very charismatic. Uh, and he's got a he's got a big personality. Um, I wouldn't say he's got well-crafted material. <laughs> no, 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 no. But, but he's, he's fun to be around. Oh, he's yeah, like yeah. People good, love him. He's people a good chap. Him. He's a cool guy. Um, so the the interesting thing about my dad, especially now in his older years, and I mentioned this, I started alluding to this, is that he was, so he was a, a national champion gymnast, right? Yeah. So he's big-time athlete. Uh-huh. Um, and now he's, like, 60, and he's starting to do, like, extreme sports. Wow. Like, scuba. Like, he did a 100-mile mountain bike race. Like oh two God. months ago, 
And it's weird. Like, we love it. We support it. But it's weird. Like, he doesn't have to do that. No. He texted me when we were it's going. It's starting to get scary, too, at 60, I bet. It's It feels like the dog at the pound that knows he's going <laughs> to get put down and is just like, actually, I can talk. Look. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, look at all my shot, my stunts. And he's like, I can dance. Because uh, then he was like, like, he texted me when I was going home for Thanksgiving two weeks ago. Like, Night before I left, and he's like, hey, we should go high-altitude snowshoeing <laughs> while you're home. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, I was like, well, it's Thanksgiving. It's fucking put on your sweatpants. Yeah. And shut up. And he's like, no, it'll be fun. We'll go up, you know, we'll hike up uh, whatever pass, and then we'll maybe, well, maybe we'll do a 14er. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm coming home for, man. Like, he's very that way. Um, he loves, uh, We, I mean, we, we've climbed a lot of mountains together. Um, wow, that's fun. He's a wild dude, and he does, like, every now and then, he'll, like, you'll get a text from him that he's like, hey, I'm climbing the Matterhorn next month. And you're like, <laughs> you know that's in Switzerland, right? Like, you gotta... And to then, get my dad out of the house, I would have to do, like, a little trail of uh, small glasses of single batch bourbon, <laughs> like to, to for him to be like, ooh, a little ooh, glass of bourbon, ooh, a little, ooh, glass, little, glass, little glass, glass of bourbon, <laughs> and then maybe he would get like out of the driveway. Yeah, My, I would love to have a dad to be like, I got plans, and you're and well, like, it's, are you? It game? makes us all look like shit. Oh well, that is part of it too. Because yeah, I'm like 25 and able bodied, and he's just like, yeah, well, uh, I did 75 miles on the bike yesterday, <laughs> yeah, and now I'm gonna go do lawyer stuff for 12 straight hours. <laughs> Dude wow. sleeps three and a half to four hours a night. Like, he's a psycho. That's crazy. He's the most high-performing 60-year-old you've ever met. Did he? Did, so did you get any trouble as a kid? Not a lot. You weren't. I see you kind of as a good little boy. I was. I was scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we I all was, are. No, but I was a pussy. Like, I wouldn't... I was like the... the uh, the thrill of doing something wrong was never outweighed by, or was always outweighed by the terror of getting in trouble. Yeah. Uh, what would, so, okay. The, what was like the most trouble you, like what you must remember it then if you're, if you were a good kid. Right? Yeah. So the most uh, trouble, and actually I used to have a stand up bit about it, but it's a long story. Um, I guess it's not even really trouble. I got in trouble. Uh, the first time I ever had a, a sexual experience, I got Love caught, it. um, by, she told her dad and then her dad called and handled it terribly. But my parents are, yeah, it was weird. Like I was getting like threats from like a 50 year old man. I was like 13 and he like called my y'all boned. What? At 13. Well, I got mouth boned at 13. Oh, okay. Um, that's a lot, which 13. is cool. That's, yeah. that's very cool. It's very cool. And you still weren't a cool kid after that. Well, I didn't, Talk, I wasn't going around being like, uh, <laughs> I skull fucked. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> I wasn't bragging, but it was like cool. It was and very then cool. She told her dad, and then her dad called my like because he was a father. It was like I think we need to, you know. But he was a bad like he's a bad dude. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe he's better now. I don't know. I don't talk to him. Fuck you, but her dad. He like went. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, her dad. <laughs> <laughs> New podcast idea. <laughs> um, so he like called my parents, and my parents were they handled it really well because they're like they're adults. And they're not they're good parents who were like not weird about. But they had to be. That was the most like quote trouble. But it wasn't really trouble. It felt like trouble at the time because yeah, it no, was that, wrong. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. But they were cool about it, and then it was cool because... Well, it's pretty easy to be the son's parents. They're like, my son's getting blown at 13? Uh, Hell yeah. Oh, bad job, son. Yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah they were a little bit... Uh, my mom was, you know, talking about adult responsibility, and my dad in the back was kind of like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't... It was never that overt, because he's kind of dorky, so yeah. he would never have done that. But, like, you could... Even then, I was like, I'm only in trouble because this is really embarrassing. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, it is super embarrassing. Yeah, and I didn't want to have to deal with that. And so then, but then the dad eventually, like, it was over, quote, like, we thought, you know, my parents had talked to them, and then he, like, went onto her Facebook and started sending me messages. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then I, like, didn't want to deal with it, so I didn't say anything. And then, like, two weeks later, because I, I, as an eighth grader, was like, this is wrong. Was this he, like, pretending a- to be her? Was he no. like, hi, Evan. It was, no, it was, <laughs> wait, that would have been, that would have been kind of hot. Why don't you come been, over you know. <laughs> to the storage unit? Yeah. I'm like, oh, babe, you got a storage unit? How'd you do that at 13? I've always wanted to have a storage <laughs> unit. Um, he, no, he was like, don't, like, literally being like, glad to see you've not tried to contact her. Don't ever speak to my daughter. And it was like. 
And cool. I remember reading it and being like, I'm 13. <laughs> like, I wasn't even trying to be an adult where it's like, I can't believe I... It was like, literally like, this is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't tell my parents for like two weeks because I was embarrassed. I, like, I didn't want to bring it up again. And then finally I was like, I have to. I have to bring this up. I brought it up to them. I've never seen my dad more like... Like, it was like he, like, like Liam Neeson in Taken. Like, yes. just very calmly gearing up to end a life. <laughs> <laughs> just slowly yeah. lifting a gun you didn't yes. know existed and onto the like, table. like, screwing a silencer on <laughs> and just being like, it's going to work out, son. He's, like, putting dual swords on his yeah, back. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. this dude is spray painting his face black. Like, and he's just like, we're really proud of you for coming forward. And he literally was, like, pulling out chains to go fuck this guy up. Um, it was it was pretty wild. So I I guess that's the most like trouble I ever. Well, really got. what ended up happening? Not just I don't think any, I, that I know of. I don't think they let me into the rest of the process. But I, you know that guy's been the Iowa that showdown. guy's been missing for a long time. <laughs> 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 and my dad is a lawyer. He's got connections. That's true. Yeah. Um, wow. No, I think he probably called him and was like like privately called him and was like very dad, diplomatically dad. like if you ever, you know, he's like I probably. I bet they had a dad duel. Well, and they it, played bag up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I win, my son fucks your dog. It ended with them like just stoically ch- clinking a glass, both drinking it and then parting forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Much like me and my crush in fifth grade. I have yes. You. She's she gets she's getting married now. She's married. You should talk to someone. You gotta let this go. <laughs> I'm sorry oh, I, that she hurt you. Listen, buddy. I've let it go. It doesn't sound like it. I mean, you know. No, I don't. Actually, I don't know at all. I'm in a, I'm in a great relationship now. You know, yeah. fifth grade hasn't hasn't touched me at all. It was weird that that we ne- I never I still haven't spoken to her again after sure. that. Yeah, but you know about her life. <laughs> yeah, you know you okay. keep you keep uh, you keep in tabs. You know you scroll. Fa- Actually, that's really all Facebook is now. Now I'm 27. Just seeing which one of your friends is doing just better. Like, <laughs> oh, well, not even friends. It's just like oh, this person from my past is either getting married or dead. Those are really the two. Yeah. Or having a kid. Well, you grew up in an opioid community. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Oh, I don't know. I was just kidding. Uh, do you want to uh, plug anything before we get out of here besides your show? Plug anything? Um, plug my dad's law practice. Absolutely. Uh, over Turf McGath and Hull. If you're looking for civil litigation out of Denver, Colorado. Civil litigation. Yeah. Um, so that's over like yard space and stuff. Whose property it is? No, he kind of represents stuff? company. Like he's he'll do. Oh, super fun. Yeah, it's insurance defense work, which is oh, really funny because it best. sounds so evil. <laughs> And Isn't that the job Mr. Incredible failed at? The t- probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's the day to day of it is cut. not evil, but it sounds so evil, especially today. Yeah. But he does a pretty good job not. You're being like, evil. hey, Geico's a good guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> He'll represent companies that like, like, uh, if it's like a hotel chain that like the water's too hot and scalds some dude. Okay. You know what I mean? He'll no. be like, yeah, Marriott's a good guy. Yeah, yeah they were really. just they were just trying yeah. to do their best. They were having a bad day, keeping the water hot. Yeah, they took it out on someone. Um, so if you ever need that, do I want to plug anything? Uh, my show at the Lincoln Lodge, yeah. first and third Sundays, um, uh, and you can go to evanhull.com. Whoa. I actually don't have a website. Fuck. Oh, and there's another. If you actually, if you look up Evan Hull, there's another Evan Hull, and he's the star running back of Northwestern football. Hey, and we're friends that. on Instagram, so we're gonna yeah. That's gonna be I'll great give for him the a plug. Too. I don't think he needs it. Yeah, I'll tag him in in all the podcast stuff as well. Yeah, you should tag him, and then when he hits you up about it, be like, "Oh, sorry, it's accident. We had the other Evan Hall on." No, I'll just ask him. I'll just be like, "We had we had the the shitty Evan Hall on, but we want you on." <laughs> yeah, I mean, you had to end mean. We we're having a nice time. We're both we drinking were so cold snacks. I mean, we were doing a good time. We unpacked your trauma. We I talked know. about mine. I was kind of mean this episode. I'm sorry. I, I, I it was the edibles. I was just about to say you had an edible this morning, <laughs> and now you're now you're fuming. You're just a little bit irate. I compared you to poop falling into a toilet. I recall. Yeah, <laughs> that was my Foursquare incident. <laughs> <laughs> well, Evan, thanks for doing it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was fun. Absolutely. Hey guys, you just listened to another episode of Fuck You, Dad. Uh, If you could follow us on our Instagram, which is F-C-K-Y-O-U-D-A-D podcast. That's the important one. Uh, We also have a Twitter account, which is F-C-K-Y-O-U-D-A-D-P-O-D-C-A-1. If you could follow that, 
Also, uh, please submit any father stories that you have that you'd like us to uh, make fun of, laugh at, or share. Uh, shoot that to our Instagram DMs. And if you could please uh, go ahead and rate the podcast, share the podcast with uh, your friends and family that might enjoy it. And keep listening. Thank you so much.